Welcome back to Positively Milwaukee. We have a very special guest with us today, Joanne Williams. We'll meet her in just a bit. She is the producer of the documentary Exchange in White America, Kakana and King, 50 Years Later. Right now we're going to take a sneak peek at that film. I was just pretty much astonished at some of the things I saw. I started crying because I was so, you know, I just felt so uncomfortable. It was like, okay, go in and let's see what happens. If somebody looks like they want to take my head off, it's like I'm out of here. You know, there are a number of things that could have happened to the 16-year-old kid in that place in 1966. This story is about a high school student exchange between Rufus King High School in Milwaukee and Kakana High School up in the Fox River Valley. And a social studies teacher at Kakana High School wanted his kids to have a broader view of the world. So to do that, he was going to have them perform a play. The play he chose was In White America, the history of African Americans from slavery to civil rights. This all happened in 1966. And I'm happy to say joining me this morning is Joanne Williams. She's the producer of the film, The Exchange in White America, Kakana and King, 50 Years Later. And Joanne, this is an important piece of work, and I know that this took a while to complete. This is really a labor of love for you. <laughs> How long <laughs> did it take? That's a good way to put it. It's a labor <laughs> of love. It's a passion project. And I started it in 2016, so it's been six years. Wow. Well, you know, it was really important to do this because much of this film is vintage film from the TMJ4 yes, library. A lot of this has never been seen. And when I look at some of these scenes, like the picture of the four black girls that were murdered in the Birmingham church bombing or Dr. King leading protests through the streets, I, I became emotional. And I'm wondering, what went through your mind during all these years of research, Joanne? Well, I wanted to tell the story of these exchange students. And it's a story that I had with me for 50 years. It was in my box marked high school stuff, my high school newspaper. And when I saw the date of it, it said 1966. And I found this box in 2016. And I said, this is a story, and I'm going to tell it. But, you know, that's so neat. And we, we look at history and we look at today. So much has changed. But a lot is still the same in, in many ways. What are you hoping that audiences learn or glean from this film? I hope they, I hope they learn that. Uh, we can only get, we can only make things better if we get to know each other one on one. And if you, if you, in watching this film, turn to somebody next to you in the audience and say, what was your high school experience? What happened to me? Uh, I found that people watching it have done that. And it takes a minute or two for them to think about it. But once they do, they start talking about what they remember. And they find that there have been very different experiences, but they would like to get to know other people in 2022 that they did not know before. Yeah, it, well, it's an enriching experience, and really we are all the same. And I know that you, you went through a lot of research, you, you <laughs> yes. went through a lot of yes. trials and tribulations, but was there anything that really surprised you through this entire project, Joanne? You don't know how long it took me to find the TMJ film. Oh, I, I remember you calling me, so yes. I, <laughs> I It took me a long time to find that film, but we finally did. Um, I was surprised that nothing bad happened during the exchange. You'd think that in 1966, in the middle of the Civil Rights Movement, there might be some clash or something. Well, there wasn't. There were a couple of little incidents as teenagers get into little right. arguments. But basically, it all went well. And I was surprised about that, and I hope that comes out in the film, that it did go well, particularly near, near the end of the film. I hope you like the end. Well, of the you know, the humanity wins out, and that's what we like to say, ending on a positive note. Yes. The exchange went well, and you have to see this film. Joanne Williams, you all probably know her, a local <laughs> legend, former TV anchor, reporter. Now she's a top documentarian, executive producer. So, you know, really, you should be very proud of this. This is really I am exciting. very proud of it. This is, this is my third baby. Oh, yes. I have two and your two sons. Okay, I, two sons. I love it. This is my third baby. <laughs> yeah, that is a good way to say it. And the exchange in white America, Kakana and King, 50 years later, is all part of the Milwaukee Film Festival. Yes. It's a fascinating and thought-provoking film that gives us an important springboard to really open dialogue about race. So we appreciate you being with us this morning. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for so inviting much, me. Joanne.